Hi, it's Chris Heberlein with Telemechanic Sensors, and today we're going to do a short demonstration on the XUW Vision Sensor and its software. And in particular, on this session, we're going to focus on the pattern matching tool. So here's the XUW uh, software, and I'm going to hit the configuration button, which launches a new page. And uh, we have some preloaded images here. Um, so uh, we've got some other images I would like to use for today's example. So I'm going to click this button of a film strip. I'm going to delete all my existing images. Here's a load button. I'm going to click that. And real quickly, I'm going to select these images and put them in a specific order for today and hit OK. So these are, uh, it's a black Lego plate with uh, a different shaped uh, white Legos on, mounted on it. And image one, they're all in a particular configuration. Image two, the little white Lego block moves over one, one row. Lego th uh, third image, uh, the Lego block is now uh, perpendicular. And the fourth image, uh, that small white Lego block is gone completely. So let's try to uh, match this with the uh, use a detector for pattern matching. Um, I'm going to have a yellow box and a green box. The yellow box is my search zone. So I'm telling the software to search inside this particular area. The green box is to create a uh, area of uh, region of interest and say, hey, this is the uh, this is what I'm really looking for. This is my reference image. So, and I'm going to click the result tab so you can see a score. So image one, this is my good image. When I rotate to image two, um, it says, hey, I can find this in this new location. I've got a score of 96. And now it does something strange. So um, my white block is perpendicular, but it says, hey, I found something very similar over here in my yellow search zone. And then when I go to image four, it says I found it again, but I found it up here. So how we're going to overcome that is in the detector area, I'm going to use something called position control. I'm going to turn it on, and it gives me a blue box. And what that does is take my learned image, that little small white Lego block, and look for it specifically inside this blue area. And again, I'll click on my results tab. So I start off with 99 out of 100. I click onto uh, image 2. It finds it inside my blue box, which is a score of 96. Now, when this little white Lego block goes perpendicular, my output is now failed. Um, but I have a score of 82. And in image 4, where it's gone completely, my, my uh, output is now failed, which is good. Uh, but my score is 81. And the reason it's giving such high scores is it found images similar to my reference image. Uh, in other locations inside of the yellow search zone. So uh, the blue positioning tool is very helpful to uh, focus in on the area I'm trying to uh, uh, detect on my reference image. And, um, and uh, the result tab shows a pass-fail as well as the score. So hope this uh, little demonstration helps you use the uh, pattern matching tool. And don't forget, on the right-hand side is a uh, uh, help file, so you can get all kinds of information in here. You can double-click it, and it will launch and uh, have more details for you. So I uh, hope this was helpful, and um, please uh, look for us on our website, tele uh, excuse me, tesensors.com. We have a LinkedIn page as well as a uh, uh, group on uh, YouTube. Thanks much, and have a great day.